Hey everyone, how's it going? Are you looking to apply for a concealed carry weapon license? So you can carry this around for protection, especially with all the craziness that's going around. And you live in California, which is the worst state to try and get a concealed carry weapon license. Uh, it's actually the most difficult state out of all the state here in the US of A. And in this video, I'll show you, or at least I'll explain the whole process on how to obtain a concealed carry weapon license here in the state of California. Now, it depends on the city you live in. So we're gonna use Fresno County Sheriff as an example in this video. It depends on your residence. If you live, let's say, in the county of San Francisco, you might as well not try because they will usually not offer a CCW for you unless you have a probable cause that is life-threatening. Uh, for example, you have a stalker and so forth, then you might have a chance to gain a CCW license. Same thing with Los Angeles and some other county. Um, but you live in county like Fresno, Orange County, it's a lot easier um, to obtain a CCW as long as you're a good, abiding citizen, clean background, and you have a reasonable probable cause. And we'll talk about what a reasonable probable cause is later on in the video. So back to the process, it's really a four-step process that you have to go through. And that sounds like a lot of work, but it's fairly easy if your current sheriff for your county is supportive of the Second Amendment. Now, Fresno is one of those counties. And what you wanna do first is go to your county sheriff website and they will give you two options, uh, whether this is your first time applying for the license or you're renewing the license. Renewing the license is a lot easier. You don't have to go through the interview or any other, other uh, process. You just apply online, pay the, f uh, pay, pay the amount, and go through a six hour live instructor in life range, and then you get recertified for two years. That's the basic. Depends on if you have a business or other reason. Um, it could be a three-year license um, and so forth. But minimum uh, requirement is two years. For most people, you will qualify just for two years. So here you can see new renewal or if you lost your license, re request a duplicate or you need to modify. So there's four choices here. Modify meaning if you add a weapon. So all the weapons that you plan to carry, conceal, has to be listed on your license. So yes, you do need to own a firearm to be able to apply for the license. So you wanna make sure you have at least one firearm that you own under your name before you apply. So let's go ahead and, and select new. Uh, new applicants and um, you know there's a lot of fine print here making sure you have a clean background etc you have probable cause and license to conceal you have a reason behind that and you just want to fill out this application online and they made it a lot easier now after the pandemic because of the social distancing you actually can apply and do the interview over over the web. Um, I don't know what if that's going to change in the near future, uh, if they're going to make you go back in for a face-to-face -face interview, but you know, um, this is the process and that's the process I went through. Everything was virtual except for the live training. So typical questions, they ask for first, last name, your social, they do ask for your full social, date of birth, and your current residence. It all has to match up, okay? military status, demographic, um, license, and that's pretty much it, okay? It's, it's pretty straightforward. It should, shouldn't take more than 
10 minutes uh, if you have all the paperwork ready, handy. And uh, also, they will list an amount. When you apply initially, you don't have to pay anything for most county. You pay upon completion of all the process and steps before they send you a license. So after you fill this out, you get assigned a number within the system database. So if there's a lot of people applying for a CCW, then you're going to have to wait until they get to your application um, before they reach out to you um, and schedule an interview. Now, some county will actually have a uh, appointment. Once you submit the application, they'll ask you to schedule an appointment based on their availability. And it's, it's three to six months out for most county that are open to giving CCW. Some county may take almost nine months to a year. It really depends on the environment um, that you're in. Right now, it's pretty crazy out there. There's a lot of crimes, um, unprovoked crimes, uh, or even non-targeted crimes uh, that you want to make sure you protect yourself and your family, um, especially if you, you're in a bad location or you're conducting business that requires you to have some protection. Um, this is something you want to consider applying now. So after you fill the application, you schedule your appointment. Uh, keep in mind that don't get discouraged by the appointment date. Most of the time, they will contact you to try to move that up um, just because there's other people that get frustrated. They cancel their appointment or they just see that there's a demand. So they increase the staffing at the sheriff department. So after uh, the interview is uh, scheduled, in the interim, you want to make sure you have a firearm. Okay, so that's step one. And then step two is you want to go ahead and schedule or find a trainer to do your 12 hour minimum um, live course and live firing. That's the minimum requirement in California. Some will try to make you do two eight hour session. I would just try to find one uh, that is just 12 hours. That's the minimum because the more uh, hours you, you spend with the instructor, the more they charge you. And I wouldn't pay more than $200 for that training. And that's how much it usually costs. The license itself is uh, about 150 to 180, depends on the county. Um, but that's how much it costs. You, you're looking at a total of about four to five hundred dollars to get certified. Now you can always write that off if you do have a business um, as a you know security reason, and you do need a live scan. So usually the live firing range offer live scan, but you can also find a local live scan by just googling. Uh, make sure they're certified because the FBI, um, the DOJ, and also firearms uh, department needs to run your background, and that costs about a hundred, uh, no more than one hundred twenty-five. So, one hundred twenty-five for live scan. That means fingerprint, your background check. You do need to pay for that, um, and you can do that in parallel with uh, waiting for the interview. So get all that done. Um, don't wait until your interview because if you have a good probable cause, then it just shows that you're, you know, you're serious about the CCW application. Okay. Uh, something to keep in mind, although you can't wait because if your probable cause, you feel that it might not be strong enough and you don't want to do the live scan or the training until you get, um, the interview and the interview will basically tell you if you qualify or not. Uh, they'll ask you a series of questions. Uh, why do you need a CCW? A lot of the reason, you know, you can utilize. Uh, most people will say for self-defense or somebody attack you. Don't use that reason. Um, that's very obvious. Um, the, the, the two best reasons you can possibly justify for is that you want to be able to protect your business. So if you have a business that put you at high risk, like you carry a large sum of money, um, 
for the business tra transaction that you, you do, whether you're selling bikes, scooters, or doing Alibaba stuff, uh, those are legitimate reason. But I would not use for self-defense, protect my family when we're out at, you know, Applebee's or uh, Olive Garden. That That's... That's not what they want to give you the CCW for. They don't want you to use uh, your firearm at all costs. It's for last resort. Um, now, things that beyond your control, like for example, if you're hiking, camping in remote areas where you run into mountain lions, bears, coyotes, you're hunting, those are more... Um, better, uh, I, I wouldn't say more, I would say better probable cause uh, that will be able to justify the reason behind it. So I would recommend those two reasoning if you do um, decide to go for a CCW and not use the generic ones where everyone's using to protect me and my family when we're out um, and if somebody attacked you. Well, that's obvious, but you only need one probable reason you don't have to list multiple on there. Just one really good one. And they're going to ask you for examples and uh, justification. So don't BS it um, because they're going to ask for proof. They're going to ask for proof if you go hiking, camping. You're going to need all those uh, information uh, and documentation. So something to keep in mind. Okay. Hopefully you find this video helpful in how to apply for a CCW. Again, there's four steps. You go on their website, you apply, schedule the interview. Uh, that's step one. And step two is find a trainer, complete the training, which is at least 12 hours, um, up to 10 hours lecture and two hours live, uh, live firing at the range. That's step two. Step three is get your fingerprint, live scan, background check. That does take about two to four weeks. So while you wait for the interview, you can get all that out the way. And then step four is just the interview. Once you complete the interview, you pay the amount, um, which is about 100 to $179, uh, depends on county you're at. And they'll mail you out the license within a couple of weeks. Um, so that's the current process. The interview is also virtual. I don't know if they're going to change that in the future and make you come into your sheriff department. Uh, I went through everything virtual. The only thing I had to do in person is the two hour live training, which was actually fun. I actually prefer to stay longer, but that's uh, how, how they set up that training course. And everyone's pretty respectful. Um, so hopefully uh, uh, you find this video helpful. Uh, remember to subscribe. Catch you all next time. Take care.